Weddings can be the biggest and one of the most expensive events in a couple's lives, but they don't have to be. For more, we're joined by reporter Dean Felton at the desk. Good afternoon, Dean. You've been looking into more budget-conscious options. I have indeed. Not for me, Jack. So I'm <laughs> We're all married. <laughs> there is a new company, New Kids on the Block, who are offering a package deal that includes catering, photography, flowers, the venue, transport, the celebrant, a DJ, all at a much cheaper rate than you'd pay if you were sourcing all of those suppliers yourself. Now, their benchmark is a wedding for about 80 guests, and that will cost you $26,000. That figure is flexible depending on what items you take care of yourself. It doesn't include everything. It doesn't include dresses, rings, the honeymoon and so forth. But potentially that is a very large discount for the cost of a typical Australian wedding. We did some checking and it's very, very easy to spend 50 or 60,000 or even more on a wedding. And here are, here's one of the founders of the business explaining just how they keep those prices down. What we did is uh, go out and handpick an amazing team of suppliers, mm -hmm. guarantee they can get minimum 80 weddings a year, and in return they give us a 20 to 30% reduction in their costs. Hmm. So, Dean, does the bridal have, couple have to do anything, or is it all taken care of? Well, again, Jack, it's flexible. You can have as much involvement as you want or as little, and the price goes up or down accordingly. So you might want to provide your own flowers or your own DJ or your own celebrant, for example. But what troubles many people about weddings, not so much the cost, but the stress that's involved. And this gives you the option of handing all of that organisation, handballing it to someone else, so you can just relax and enjoy the day. Interesting subject, and Jackie, yes. I'll have a lot more on that <laughs> in 7 News at 6 tonight. OK, looking forward to it. Thank you, Dean.